hate this game. Well, that takes care of that. He says it'll be one episode, hopefully. Phew. Looks like everyone else is safe too. What a relief. All in a day's work. But how could a beast that large? Huh? What is it, Ed? Here they are again. Look. More pieces of the Crimson Stone. Monsters created by the arcane arts and pieces of the Crimson Stone. What's the connection? What are monsters from an ancient civilization doing in our time anyway? Uh, answers! I need answers! From Rizimbul. Oh. So, you're the one who did this to the village, aren't you? Were you trying to do the same thing to Rizimbul, too? What is your purpose for all of this? What was that transmutation circle for? I had a feeling we'd meet again someday. Damn it, pal. You got a bad habit of being cryptic. Uh, no, wait! No circles. Impressive young alchemist. Interesting. You have the same eyes. <laughs> You should have realized you have no right to stop me. Crowley! That's you, isn't it? I knew it! There could be no mistaking you! Don't you recognize me? It's me! It's Arlen! I can't believe this! Crowley? No. <gasps> The Arlen I know is not a doddering old fool like you. What do you mean? You're talking nonsense. How many years do you think it's been? How can you still look so young? What happened to you? He just melted away. You're safe now, Lieutenant Havoc. So how are you faring after all of that? You all right? Does it look like I'm all right? Do me a favor and tell the Colonel to double my salary, will you? I mean, for God's sake. How come no one ever tells me how dangerous these missions are gonna be? <laughs> Well, obviously, I'm not fitting in in one video. <laughs> oh well. Anyway, Lieutenant Havoc, who's this with you? But yes, the mysteries are growing, it seems. <laughs> All right, this is Mr. Arlen Glossner, a villager. I had taken him into protective custody. Reza Hawkeye from East Headquarters. Glad to see that you're all right, Mr. Glossner. Hog Swallow, all right? Does anything about this situation seem all right to you? Are there any other survivors? I don't know, but not very likely. Everyone's gone except me. Crowley, you fool. What have you done? Hey, Gramps! Huh? Yeah, you. Sounds like you knew that guy by name, am I wrong? Who is he? Come on, you're wasting time! Who the hell is this tactless little punk? 
This is Edward Elric, a state alchemist. Next to him is his brother, Alphonse. An alchemist? Out with the info! He appears out of nowhere and then just melts away! That guy's not exactly normal. Who is he? Did he do something to you, kid? So you do know him, right? Come on, old man, tell me! Please! Whatever he did sounds serious. Well, ain't no point in standing around out here. If you want to talk, let's go to my house. It's right there. Follow me. Yes, because your cemetery is a... Well, your backyard is a cemetery, apparently. Hold it, Gramps. Is this your place? All these books belong to you? Hmm. Of course they do. I've been an archaeologist for more than 50 years, believe it or not. Hey, Tin Man! Keep your clumsy gauntlets off my stuff, you hear? Hey, back off. Um, Douche. So does archaeology include the study of those monsters, too? Monsters? Oh, you must mean the golems. Of course, the history of Lebes can't be told without them. What you guys are calling monsters are actually golems, living dolls created through the Grand Arcanum of Lebes. Living dolls? That's right. The Grand Arcanum enabled them to breathe life into what were actually just dolls made out of mud. You might as well call him homunculus. <laughs> breathe life into? That's impossible! Oh, but it is possible with the Grand Arcanum of Lebus. It's what's better known as alchemy today. You boys said you were alchemists. Well, golems were born through ancient alchemy, so... Alchemy? Oh no, Ed. Yeah, all right. I'm beginning to see now. So that guy we just saw out there is the lunatic who's still making those ancient beasts. Am I right, Gramps? <laughs> Got a mind like a steel trap, don't you? Well, you're right. You want to know about him? He's an alchemist, like you. His name is Jack Crowley. Him and I were best friends, studying Lebesic civilization together more than 50 years ago. Jack Crowley. Wait, 50 years ago? But he didn't look that... No, he didn't look old at all. He hadn't aged a bit. That's one detail I can't figure out. Any possibility it was a total stranger that just happened to look like him? Come to think of it, it seemed like that guy didn't recognize you. I know him better than anyone else. That was Crowley, no doubt about it. But I don't think a normal human being can do the things he can. Well. Well, it's no use arguing over whether that guy was really your buddy or not. What I want to know is his purpose. And why is a young punk like you so interested anyways? What's all this got to do with you? I saw him in my hometown of Rizimbul. He may have been trying to do the same thing there that he did here. And besides... That man may be responsible for the mass murder of the village. He may be involved in other cases, too. In other words, the military has good reason to apprehend him. Do you have any idea where we might find him? Where to find Crowley? <laughs> he may still be in Siam Sid, for all I know. Siam Sid? That's the royal capital of Lebus. Of course, it's been gone for centuries. Ain't nothing there but ruins now. So Siam Sid's our best bet, huh? Well, Lieutenant? That'll be our next stop. Mr. Glossner, could you lead us to Siam Sid? You guys are serious about this. <laughs> you whippersnappers may be the best chance it's come around yet. Fine, I'll take you guys there. I actually want to see Crowley too, just one more time. I've got to stop him. 
It's my fault that he became this way. Huh? Gramps, are you all right? All right, let's go then. It ain't that far from here to Siam Sid. Surprisingly. Um, Lieutenant Hawkeye, what should I do? We'll only be scouting, so there's no need for a big group. I want you to report our plans to the Colonel. Yes, ma'am. Thank God I could finally go home. No comment. Believe that's the end of the chapter. Oh, I guess not. Hey, Ed. Are you thinking what I'm thinking about the Grand Arcanum and those golems? I'm way ahead of you. Let's hope we can find a clue about getting our bodies back. Hmm, maybe. Well, that's the end of chapter 5. <clears throat> oh, God, I hate the next place, to be honest. Well, it's okay, I suppose. But yeah, let's go ahead and save. <sighs> so, uh, yeah. Um, next time we'll actually be going somewhere that's not dark sewers and, you know, darkness and, you know, more darkness. So, yeah. <laughs> I'll see you guys next time.